Hey everybody, Brian Garcia, Meteorologist, National Weather Service, San Francisco Bay Area, Monterey Bay Regions. I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're looking at coming forward next week. And we actually have rain in the forecast. This looks like it could potentially be the first significant rain of our wet season. So what we're going to use to talk through this are charts from the Ocean Prediction Center from our friends back in College Park, Maryland. So this first chart I want to show you here is the surface analysis chart. So the, we're going to be looking at charts like this over the next few tabs. So I kind of want to explain this to you really quick. You have the west coast of North America out here on the right of the chart. And then you have Japan out here and Kamchatka over here and the Aleutians across the north end of the chart here. And then it has all of the L's for areas of low pressure and H's for area of high pressure. And then we'll be talking about fronts as we go through this. So this is the current surface analysis from earlier today today being Thursday evening. And if we look at the 48 hour forecast, so now this is looking at uh, Saturday morning around 5 a.m. ish. This is what we're expecting the surface chart to look like at that time. What I want to draw your attention to is this area of low pressure up here in the Gulf of Alaska, the northern end of the Gulf of Alaska. This area of low pressure is going to be diving south into the southern parts of the Gulf of Alaska and pushing a couple fronts through with it. And really what we're uh, waiting for is all of this across the Western Pacific over here. So this big area of low pressure and you can see the jet really lined up or the, uh, the, the winds really lined up across the surface chart here going up and over this area of high pressure across the Aleutians. So a lot of moisture is getting tapped into off the Crocio current out of uh, the northwest Pacific and out across the Aleutians, really driving a lot of moisture down into the Gulf of Alaska, joining in with this low. And if we go out to Sunday morning, we can see by the time we get to Sunday morning, that area of low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska really starts to take shape and has a really nice occluded front and cold front coming down through here. But it really has all of that moisture coming out of that uh, that area of high winds, the, the, the really tight area of winds across the North Pacific. So that's going to drive a lot of moisture across the North Pacific in towards our region. And just from that source region, it tells me that this is not your classical atmospheric river. This is not a pineapple express. This isn't something that has a deep subtropical or tropical tap. This is a classic North Pacific low pressure that's going to bring in lots of lots of rain and probably some gusty winds with it as well. So as we go into Monday morning here, this is what the system looks like. I'm going to go back again here. So we see this area of low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska drop south into the west coast of the U.S. We have this nice front coming through us. We'll have some southerly winds out ahead of it, northwesterly winds behind it as this uh, reinforcing low starts to move in behind it and pushing even more rain towards our area. So let's pop over here to see some bar charts. The top row here in the bar charts is 12 hour precipitation. The bottom row there is 24 hour precipitation. Don't worry about the numbers because the numbers are going to change dramatically between what we're talking about here and what we're talking about when it's actually happening. What I want you to see is that we really go from nothing out here uh, over the weekend, really beautiful weekend coming up to actually seeing precipitation come into the region as early as Monday morning. And so this site that I've picked for these bar charts is right downtown San Francisco. And we can see those bar charts going up and up and up, higher and higher probabilities of getting wetting rains. In other words, getting 0.1 inches of rain measurable at any given time, any of these six hour blocks or these 12 hour blocks here, apologies. The thing with the colors here, you have these light greens going to dark greens, going to the yellows and oranges. That just means we have probabilities of seeing higher totals of rain during that time. It doesn't mean that we have high probabilities of very low probabilities of it, but it's still within the envelope of potential. So something we're going to be watching. And the next thing to look at is look how far out these bars go well out into later parts of next week and even into the following weekend. And so uh, we could be in a wet pattern for the next seven to 10 days, something we're going to be paying attention to closely. So as you get prepared for this, make sure that you set up yourself, take care of yourself, make sure you take care of each other. And by all means, please be good to one another. See everybody. Bye.